Alright, what's good YouTube? Here are some signs that you need a break. I recently went through, uh, I deleted TikTok. I have 2 million followers on TikTok. That's my biggest platform, guys. And I deleted it. Um, and I just had people posting for me because I still needed to feel like I was putting content out. And I went through a really rough time recently. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, I got caught up in such like, a vicious loop of comparing myself to dudes. Like, literally, I'll be completely open with you guys. Literally, Imagadi. Like, that's about it. I'll be completely open with you guys. Because I, I got so hard on myself thinking that, like, dude, you've been in the game for three years. You were getting 20 million views a month. And you're not, you don't have g wagons you don't have a supercar i was like when i looked back in retrospect on my mind frame that i was in i'm like bro what are you doing but really all i needed was just to take a break from consuming so much content and change my relationship with the content like a lot of you guys are probably doing the same exact thing that i was doing and that's why i was posting so much content on it because i myself was dealing with it um but I took a step back. I deleted the media where I was con consuming the content that made me feel like shit. So I literally deleted YouTube off my phone as well. Uh, and rather than comparing myself, I took a break. Basically talked to myself. And rather than getting completely upset about it, I allowed myself to look at this content for inspiration. And totally rather than be upset with myself be like if he can do it you can do it too everyone's timeline is different though there is not one timeline that everyone follows oh he was in the game for five years you've been in it for three why aren't you close to that you know there's not one timeline that everyone follows everyone is on a different journey there's so much unexpected shit that will happen in your life and if you are having your if you are finding yourself in a mindset where you feel burnt out but the thing with me is I didn't realize I was just burnt out and I needed a break. I was like, bro, I'm shadow banned on TikTok. I'm shadow banned on Instagram. Nothing's going my way. Kept comparing myself to these people. And I was like, fuck it. I'm taking a break. And from taking the break, I learned, yo, all I needed was a break. That's it. Because I was putting so much pressure on myself to put out content that would go viral rather than just put out content that I enjoyed making put out content that was easy to me to make. Rather, I started spending a bunch of money on an editor. The editor does a great job. I, I'm still going to continue to do it, but it's like I was looking for a quick solution to fix the problem that I had in my mind. And Eckhart Tolle says, problems of the mind cannot be solved in the mind, right? You have to be able to take a step back and be present for the answers to reveal themselves. So I hope this message resonates with a lot of you guys because... Breaks are essential. If you are like me and you find yourself in the communities on Twitter and YouTube and TikTok where they say you can't take breaks, you need to be all gas, no breaks, that's toxic, bro. That is draining. And sure, we are uncertain about the future of our world. But that is living in fear. That is living in the future. That isn't living now. Yes, prepare yourself. But you don't need to slave away you need to come up with a precise balance a precise schedule that you can follow so that you understand what you need to do each and every day and you're not lost and you're not uncertain and i hope you guys really get involved with the software that i'm launching because it's designed to help you do exactly that because it's so hard i'm also launching a documentary on this week this sunday i put a lot of fucking love and a lot of effort into it and i'm still filming for it actually on why our generation is so lost and how to fix this problem and then the software will launch at the end of it but that's not the point of this video but i do hope you tune into that you need to sit down and meditate bro i'll put it like that simply that's all i really needed i needed a few days to cool the fuck down be present not put so much pressure on my future and compare myself to who i was in the past because that's not now bro who you were in the past is not who you are now. Who you are in the future will not be who you are now. We are always evolving, constantly evolving. And you can't have expectations. Like I said in my prior video, you need to know when you're either being a bitch or you need to take a break. 
And it was to the point where it was like consuming me. You know, I'd wake up every day and I was just stressed. I'd go to bed stressed. And it was, it, the stress was consuming me. I couldn't be productive when I had this stress on me, you know? But you need to be able to recognize the difference between mild stress and just having to navigate around a problem and the difference between like being burnt out. Because we all get burnt out, bro. I've been, I've been in the social media game for three years, three and a half years. And I've taken multiple breaks, multiple, multiple breaks. And at the each of every single one, sometimes I take a vacation, sometimes I just go ghost for a little bit. At the end of each and every break, I don't have a duration on how long I want them to be. At the end of each one, I come back with so much more momentum and force because I allowed myself to clear my energy, ground myself. Imagine if I never did. Imagine if I just kept fucking trying to push out and force content. You guys wouldn't be seeing this video. You guys would be seeing inauthentic videos and forced content rather than like what I feel passionate about and what I genuinely feel will help you guys. So if you clicked on this video, you probably deserve a break. But be honest with yourself. The easiest person to lie to is yourself. Do you deserve a break? I've been doing social media for three years, like I said. So I knew, I was like, dude, this is just getting so fucking tiring. And I love posting. I love spreading a message. So I knew when I was like getting tired of of social media, I knew it was time for a break. Um, but if you're still starting, be very, very wary of taking a break. Um, because the more often you take breaks, the more likely you are to quit. So only take a break if you really deserve it. And be honest with yourself. Like I said, the, the only person that knows you is you, but the easiest person to lie to is you. So that's why you need to take time to just meditate. You can meditate every morning, every night. You can meditate right now if you fucking want to. You know, maybe meditate after this video and say, like, how is my relationship with my work going? Good? Bad? It might be time to take a break. Who knows? You have the answers within you, but you just need to allow them to come to the surface. And the only way to do that is by giving yourself time. So, if you need to take a break, take a break, bro. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to make you broke. Trust yourself. And tune into the documentary on Sunday. I mean, insane. Love you guys. After. Fun.